I'm Todd Bennett, half of Voice of Dash Cup usually, but I'm proud to present the ETM Master Cup Series race from Brands Hatch today. On the pole today would be Morgan Le Fay in the 49 o'clock quirk racing car. Luciano Sov Roland the Lord International number 5 on her outside. Bit of a surprise to see the uh, 49 on the pole, but you mean attention in her clockwork racing teammate uh, qualified just behind her. Good uh, good qualified efforts there by Chris Johan and Scott Stoyd with the alert bunch. Uh, as you see, uh, Raketa's up near the front, as is Kurt Pliskin. Scott Bates had a good qualifying effort here. Uh, Jacob Card, uh, Robert Dorian's in this race with the promoter's option and alert. The uh, 2013 and reigning Dash Cup champion. Uh, Michael Humphreys is in a uh, row, row 11, the best of the um, Independence Trophy team uh, teams. Uh, Anna Percy's up there as well, row 12. There you see uh, Peter Short's had a decent qualifying effort, as has Axel Anderson. Um, Lewis Kingston, I think, would have been like more like towards the front. Uh, Keegan Mallory, the third of the Independence Trophy cars, and Fias Taub near the back. Uh, Vitaly Karapenko on the same row as Ben Atkins, Alexander Simpleton will make his first ever race uh, start for the Master Cup Series and Gaspar the Souza set no time after a crash in his qualified effort and of course Los E Motorsports have withdrew uh, after running out of funds um, the promoters did not want the standing starts like they had at Road Atlanta here today so here we go Morgan Le Fay leads down to the green here at Brands Hatch looks like Luciano's got a good run now so uh, Luciano got a good run on the outside and uh, it looks like we're going to see Luciano take the lead on the outside here. Yep, looks like it. Morgan Le Fay looks like she's fighting back here, but um, Le Fay, I don't think, has a car simply as strong as the five car. And uh, there you go, Luciano Soverall takes the lead. Looks like the Clark Quick Racing team uh, will settle in second and third. Here is Gaspar de Souza as he crashed in qualifying and he had to change engines as a result. However, he was fastest in final practice, so that changed engines. They have done wonders for him, so uh, D'Souza now uh, passing, it looks like that is Tom Ward. Anyway, here is Packer Carroll and Hannah Percy, as you see Carroll and Big trying to make a move on the inside line there. Oh, he sweeps up into Percy and around, goes Packer Carroll into the wall, Hannah Percy is involved as well. Uh, crash for them to oh, and uh, Zuma Kazuyama uh, piles into it as well, it looks like Kazuyama's done for the day. Uh, we're going to have to see another camera angle of that one, that wasn't the best angle anyway. Here is Chris Davenport, here we go, here's another camera on board with Chris Davenport, as you see here. Um, looks like Percy sweeps wide to let Carroll, oh, and then Carroll just cuts over into Percy, that's nothing that Percy could have done there, so... uh just got cleaned up on that white car, I don't know who that is. Davenport saying Percy cleaned out uh, Carroll, I tend to disagree with you there. Anyway, um... Here is the 49 car of Morgan Le Fay. Le Fay, uh... Oh, gee, the clockwork's holding up the 7. Just keep pushing, baby. Keep pushing. Do your thing. That's, uh, Luciano Sovereign's, uh, engineer there as he, uh, motivates Gianna to, uh, keep the lead. And, um, looks like Morgan Le Fay is holding up Adrian Devereux at the moment. So, uh, looks as if the clockworks aren't as, uh, good in race trim as they were in qualifying trim. Here is Arto Kekkonen as the, um... Arto running well at the moment, I think he's in P7 at the moment, and no! Oh no! Arto has, um, Arto has, um, broken down there, and it looks like he's gonna come to a stop. Anyway, here's Robert Dory, the alert driver, as you see, uh, the reigning Dash Cup champion having a decent run at the moment. He's, uh, running just ahead of... Oh! Jacob Card's gone, uh, Card gone boom, so, um, that's gonna be the end of Jacob Card's race, I believe, um, I'll Fortunate for the sixth car, uh, Jacob Card, of course, won last year with the Volpe uh, team. He replaced Pat Carroll for a race and uh, won the race. So uh, here is uh, Hannah Percy. You see, she's coming out the pits. It looks like she's a lap down, unfortunately. But uh, Hannah Percy, of course, won one of the races here earlier in the year uh, for Dash Cup and then uh, rolled over in the other. So um, I'm not sure Percy. Um, having a good as a runner she likes she runs wide there uh, don't think that car's handling right anyway here is uh, Tom Moore as you see he's pitting for a puncture someone else was in the pits there as well uh, didn't quite catch who that was anyway here is uh, Hannah Percy again as you see Percy trying to let by Morgan Le Fay Le Fay not giving a whole lot of room there and uh, looks like Percy uh, really tried her best to uh, let her by let's uh, Clavin by without any problems so uh, 
I think Percy's car isn't handling the right uh, the damage from the accident with Mac and Carol must be causing some sort of uh, suspension issues there. Here is uh, the alert car, Chris Johans. Alert have no points so far, but they did win the driver's title last year with Michael Sykes, so um, interesting as to why they aren't uh, up to speed uh, as quickly this year, but um, looks like uh, Johans. Oh, Percy cuts off Johans there, but uh, as I say, I don't think Percy's car, the Cessna car, is handling right, so uh, unfortunate for Percy, but. Um, you know, she, she is trying her best to let all the cars by. Anyway, here is Gaspar D'Souza, as you see D'Souza currently in P31, trying to pass Keegan Mallory on the outside. Uh, I think Keegan Mallory might need some Atlantic power to get up there. Uh, all jokes aside, uh, D'Souza having a uh, having a great run so far. He did start dead last, remember. Anyway, it is uh, Chris Davenport again. He's got a new sponsor on, on the car. That's SUA International. Uh, a much better looking car if I don't say so myself, that is a very nice car um, Chris Davenport is piloting. Anyway, here is um, on board with Greg Wooded as you see there's Hannah Percy again. Oh, Percy's wide enough! And into the tire wall goes Hannah Percy, looks like she got hit, got some air there, so uh, Hannah Percy uh, unfortunate, has, uh, unfortunately has gone into the wall again, this is not a great race for her. Anyway, here's Robert Dorian, as you see Dorian. Uh, is uh, just coming into turns two and three here. Oh no, Dorian's in the wall. Robert Dorian has slammed the wall here, and um, that's unfortunate for Dorian because uh, he was having a great race, but um, I guess it just wasn't meant to be for him. Anyway, here is uh, Arto Kekkonen. As you see, Kekkonen back on the track, but um, of course he's had problems. Here is Kevin Dwyer, who looks. Well, I think he's slowing down, he might be in the pit, coming into the pits here, yes he is, so uh, Kevin Dwyer, I'm not sure that's a scheduled stop. Anyway, here's Morgan Lefay, as you see Lefay, still, oh no, Lefay's got a problem, oh, Morgan Lefay's got a problem, the pole set for this race, uh, got a problem, I'm not sure if it's terminal or not though. Here is Davina Henton, as you see Henton, uh, the defending winner of this race, uh, currently in 28th, as you see someone's hitting the tie wall there, oh, that's Joe Lennox. Joe Lennox planted himself into the tie wall anyway. Um, Henton, the defending winner of this race, uh, they've got the TM Lights driver Ingrid Hadland joining uh, her and the Sober at France. Uh, Matthias Tab and Peter Short currently running uh, 23rd and 24th. MRT uh, actually getting their stuff together for once. Um, Tab, I'm surprised to see him running as far back as he is this year. I'm not sure it was a great career move to make the move from Gessler, but uh, yeah. Anyway. Here's Alexander Simpleton making his debut with the uh, former Dash Cup race winner. Of course, won it with Ring Mokegi in uh, 2012. But uh, Simpleton having an absolutely fantastic run at the moment in that uh, number 94 Maximus racing car. Of course, his teammate Azuma Kazuyama is out of the race. But Simpleton seems to be leading the way for back markers in this one. As you see, he's ahead of uh, Carpenko. Anyway, here is the 60 car of. Uh, 60 car Gaspar de Souza as you see he's running behind uh, he's running behind Lewis Kingston. I believe uh, these two had a run in at New York last year at some point next last year anyway. But uh Souza really working his way up the field anyway. Here is Alexander Simpleton. As you see uh, he is still running very well. Looks like he's trying to get around Luke Yevgeny Kuznets off here. Trying to pass the caps of in that Maximus racing car, I think he's gonna pull it off actually. So, uh, oh, we've got a car in the middle of the track, that is the 22 car, that's Peter Short. So, Peter Short's crashed into the tyre walls there by the looks of it, and it looks like uh, Carpenko's got wide and he might get attacked from Ben Atkins there, so uh, we're going to have to see what happens there as uh, Simpleton looks to pull away from this uh, group. Anyway, here is Hannah Percy, as you see, that car really damaged, must be handling right because she is so slow at the moment, and she's going uh, two laps down. Now, uh, a shame for Hannah Percy, as I say, this is one of her favourite tracks. She's won Formula C races here, and uh, she won the Dash Cup race here. Well, the first of the Dash Cup races here um, earlier this year. Anyway, um, here comes Adrian Devereux coming to lap Hannah Percy. I'm not sure if it's going to be too uh, complimentary of her. Anyway, here is your Jay Kuznets. So as you see, he's just uh, had his scheduled pit stop, and uh, Kuznets off. Um, it looks like he's. Um, just merging out the pit safely there. Um, looks like he is paying attention. Uh, thankfully, it was quite open for him. 
as uh, you see now coming through the hairpin. And oh, he's running wide in into the tire wall, just brushes the tire wall there. So, uh, Kuzi might have to have another pit stop for a uh, for a uh, repairs there. But um, Kuzi, an interesting mistake by him there. But um, uh, you see, he's uh, given the room to his teammate Carlos Ricada as uh, Ricada goes by the inside. Looks like Kuzi a little bit off the pace there. So uh, that hit might have done more damage than the uh, than it looked to the eye. Here's a cool pit lane view, you see all the leaders coming into the pits, um, it looks like uh, everyone's coming pretty much at the same time, the leaders could have got 3 or 4 mark laps on fuel, as you see a couple cars staying out there, Hannah Percy and Scott Bates, uh, they could have gone a little longer on fuel, but the tyres are simply not lasting as the sober past the pit lane as did Kevin Dwyer, so uh, I believe Dwyer had problems though, so, uh, as has, Han has had Hannah Percy obviously, so, uh, so yeah, that's uh, Interesting to see which car's passed up there. Gaspar de Souza passed up pit lane that time. He is saving fuel and tyres, but uh, I'm not sure any of the other teams have caught onto it yet. So uh, be interesting to see if Gaspar de Souza uh, can uh, make anything of this. Anyway, he's leading Roderick as you see Roderick uh, running well so far this race. Oh, he's running good wide and into the tyre wall. An uncharacteristic mistake here by leading Roderick. I think a lot of cars going off there and hitting the tyre walls. It was raining a couple days ago, so um, I think that's why the, the grass is wet. Here is Ben Atkins, as you see, he's saving his tyres, and he is in P12 at the moment, so uh, Ben Atkins, absolutely fantastic run so far. Looks like he's trying to get by Lena Roderick. So it looks like the fifth car, Ben Atkins, trying to pass Lena Roderick here, and um, I think he's going to get it done here, so Atkins going for P11, he could be en route for Tutino's first ever top 10. It looks like he wants to go after Scott Bates as well here now. He is absolutely on rails at the moment, the 50 car. I cannot believe this. The 50 car, absolutely fantastic drive at the moment by Ben Atkins. He's doing an amazing job at trying to keep up and uh, he's heading into the pit lane. So um, my mistake there, I thought he'd uh, come in so far, but um, still that saving the tires might help Atkins. Here we go, here's Gaspar D'Souza, he's been saving tyres, he's uh, pit a bit later, so uh, he's took them extra three or four laps I mentioned before, uh, on the tyres that you can get out of them, if uh, you want to save the fuel, but um, Gaspar D'Souza now, uh, it looks like he's gained quite a bit of positions here, so D'Souza ahead of the alert team there, uh, after pit stops, so uh, interesting to see how this falls for uh, Gaspar D'Souza, anyway. Here is uh, Luciano Soverol, as you see Soverol trying to pull away from Adrian Devereaux there. Devereaux uh, trying to catch the um, five car for death, but I think Devereaux uh, trying to get his second win of the season because he won uh, at Auto Club Speedway this year, so um, looks like uh, looks like Devereaux looking for another win here. As you see, here's the battle for P15, and as you see, this is between Woodard and uh, Michael Humphreys in the zero car. Humphreys, an independence trophy contender, wooded, of course, go for the Drivers' Championship to this position. Uh, could be important for both of them, but um, I think uh, wooded could be a, a, a dark horse for the, uh, for the championship this year. Of course, he is a race winner in this series. He has won the round of Wales uh, last year. Here is Ebenezer Pickles Jr., who is an independence trophy. Oh, Ian Cooper's hit the tyre wall there. As you see, uh, Ebenezer Pickles Jr. Um, now uh, trying to get position there. As you see here is leading Roderick as uh, he's making battle with Scott Bates here. Scott Bates, um, here comes Otto Kekkonen. Kekkonen a bit faster there in the Gessler. As I think the 88 hasn't had the pace this weekend and the 4 car has got damage. Bear in mind they've just come out the pits as well. So uh, not sure what Arto's going to do here as you see Arto, oh, I think Arto's looking free wide, oh, Roderick trying to make the room, oh no, Roderick's in the wall and into the tyre wall goes Roderick, I think Bates got off a little bit more lightly there, um, no action to be taken by race control for that one, that's an interesting choice, um, I didn't see the, point, the uh, need by Arto to make that three wide move, but you know, uh, it's the race control's uh, choice, so, uh, Obviously disappointing for Lee and Roderick because I think he's going to be out of the race as a result of this one. But um, that car very heavily damaged the uh, Aperture Science Volpi. So uh, 
not too sure Roderick could be happy about that one. Here's Gaspar de Sousa, Sousa still making his way through the, uh, through the pack. As the, uh, he's been saving tyres still, he's still saving tyres for fuel, so uh, be interested to see how de Sousa does. He's ahead of uh, Carlos Ricciardo at the moment. Here is the battle for P1, as you see. Orsi, you're wearing out the left front tyre too much. Lean off it a little bit if you can. Take care of the left front tyre. Repeat, take care of the left front. Take care of the left front. That is what Luciano is, uh, Luciano's engineer is saying. So, uh, uh, looks like Luciano having problems with the left front tire, maybe as they uh, come around to lap around in row. Now, do you listen to him or do you uh, just go for it at the moment? Because uh, it looks like uh, Luciano needs to defend the lead, obviously, from Adrian Devereaux. Of course, uh, Luciano hasn't won in a while, so. Um, uh, I think uh, Luciano would like to win this one, but uh, looks like Adrian Devereaux is going to make advantage of uh, Luciano saving his tyres. It does look like Luciano is uh, listening to his engineer, so uh, looks like Adrian Devereaux is going to sweep into the lead here. I think he's going to get the lap light on that this lap, so uh, first lead change of the day, uh, no, second lead change of the day, sorry. Anyway, here is, uh, here is Alexander Sibleton. Uh, See, he's doing a great job at the moment. Oh no! And into the tire wall and uh, Simpleton, significant uh, right side damage on that car. I think he's going to be able to continue on though as you see he's still ahead of Peter Short there. So uh, here is the alert cars of uh, Scott Stoidler. I think Adrian Devereaux is on. I think they, uh, Adrian Devereaux, Robert, Robert Dorian, sorry. As you see, um, I think they've noticed what D'Souza is doing, saving the tires and fuel and they've called these two guys in. So, um, here's on board with Melanie Clavino, as you see Clavino, um, having a great run in the two car at the moment, there's, uh, oh, we've got a slow car up ahead there, I'm wondering who, oh, it's Luciano, Luciano's got a problem, I'm not sure what sort of problem it is, could it be to do with the, uh, with the front tyre that, uh, his engineer was talking about before? Oh dear, that's a, uh, oh, hello there, uh, Alessandro, as, uh, Alessandro was seen, he's trying to make a cheeky move on the inside there, but, um, oh, I can't believe that, I can't believe that, um, the car has gone boom on, a uh, Luciano Savarol, that's unfortunate for him, and, uh, I'm sure after a great run he won't be, uh, too happy about that. Anyway, here is Greg Wooden and Michael Humphrey, as you see, this is one of the best battles on the track at the moment. But it's only for 14th, but uh, as I say, all the points could matter as well. Humphrey does a good job of not uh, hitting the tyre wall there. I think someone else did hit the tyre wall at the back there. As you see here is, uh, is Adrian Devereaux trying to get around the lap cars of Alexander Simpleton and Robert Dorian. Uh, two of Dash Cup's finest drivers there. As you see, uh, Dorian uh, will let by uh, uh, Adrian Devereaux on the inside as you see um, Devereaux will get by. Oh! I think that's Leroux in the tire wall. It's either Leroux or Mo actually it's Tom Moore. Uh, anyway, here is uh, here is Robert Dorian. As you see, um, he is uh, in P25. Uh, he's just pitted though, so uh, this race could still hold something for him. So um, Dorian, the uh, reigning Dash Cup champion, of course, didn't return to the series this year. Here is Gaspar de Souza. You see, oh, there's a crash up ahead. Oh, and. Uh, Gaspar de Sousa has just clipped the 14 car there, that's uh, Carlos Ricciardo that's just hit the tyre wall. Um, unfortunate for, the, for Ricciardo there, but I think uh, de Sousa might be okay there. Here is Adrian Devereaux, Adrian Devereaux hit the pit lane there, I think a few cars have stayed out there. Um, Clavino stayed out for an extra lap, but here comes Clavino with the next lap coming in. And that would have Alessandro Rossini the lead, so uh, Rossini. Uh, keep it out for a few extra laps here, as though well, there's a crash, I can hear Tom Moore again. So Tom Moore has slapped the tire wall again. Uh, apparently he really likes some tire walls. Anyway, here is uh, Rossini entering the pits again, looks like Zelda Ashby on the same strategy. Here's Gaspar de Souza right behind Adrian Devereaux again. He's been saving the tires, he scored fifth last time around, so there's a couple more cars staying out. Um, so uh, Gaspar de Souza trying to get around Devereaux here, and it looks like Devereaux will make it easy. Devereaux, smart move there, uh, just lets the 60 car go. So um, here is uh, Yulia Nosova, who has yet to pit either as well. It looks like he, uh, she um, might be noticing also what Gaspar de Souza is doing, because you see that 10 car on rails at the moment. Uh, 
looks like the server might have a chance of uh, taking this one, maybe. Anyway, here is uh, 60 car Gaspard D'Souza, as you see D'Souza, now uh, trying to get by on the inside of uh, Quiggles Jr. now on the outside, but uh, D'Souza's pitting, so D'Souza comes into the pits there, slots into the uh, back pit stall, which is his, of course. Here's Adrian Devereaux, he's in P1, so uh, Devereaux, when it all cycles back out, is in P1, and uh, well, Adrian Devereaux might have a smooth sailing here because uh, he's been one of the most consistent drivers. That's what I'm saying now, he's hit the tire wall! This changes everything! Now Alessandro Rossini has taken the lead, and uh, looks like Zelda Ashby is up there as well. Here's Alessandro Rossini, the leader at the moment, as uh, he might be in the catbird seat to take this one now. As uh, Zelda Ashby has taken second, Melanie Clavin is still in fourth, so uh, I cannot believe Devereux has done that. I really can't. Anyway, uh, it looks like, oh, we've got Carpenko in the tire wall there. I think he was in the points as well, so uh, that's a shame for Carpenko. Uh, here is uh, the battle for 15th, as you see uh, Matthias Tab is chasing down Cameron Taylor for the uh, 15th position. Uh, Cameron Taylor, of course, had a uh, lucky run here a couple of years ago in his Independence Trophy bid, and it made him a dark horse for the champion for the uh, Independence Trophy Championship. So uh, here is uh, Scott Bates, as you see, uh, Bates now uh, trying to close down Kevin Dwyer. I don't know if that's the position. Here's Robert Dorian. He's currently in ninth place, so the race has come back to him. And uh, Chris Davenport is currently in uh, P10, so uh, surprisingly good run for Chris Davenport. Um, Davenport has uh, not been the best in the years past, of course, he does have a race win to his name, so uh, I think I just see Davenport run it wide and into the tire wall, so uh, Chris Davenport, just as I was speaking about how good he was doing, uh, has just put it into the tire wall, here's another view, as you see, yep, just smashes into the tire wall, so uh, not sure that's what uh, Mr. Davenport would have liked to do, but um, yeah, so anyway. Here is Greg Woodard, as you see Woodard uh, got a little bit of uh, left side damage on that car. And here comes uh, Melanie Clavino, uh, and it looks like her and uh, Zelda Ashby are trying to reel in Alessandro Rossini for this one. So uh, Rossini trying to pull away, as you see here's uh, Rossini having to get around Hannah Percy, who's uh, been a little bit of a nuisance this race, I've got to admit. But uh, Hannah Percy, of course, I think has got that damage on her car, but Rossini trying to pull away. And here we go, this is the final round of pit stops, so uh, let's see what Melanie Clavino can do. She's in before Rossini, I believe, so uh, interesting to see what happens here. As here comes Devereux, I think he's going to have to get some damage repaired on top of what uh, whatever changes he's making. Here is the 14 car, Carlos Riquetto, as you see, he's trying to get around. Uh, that's Chris Davenport. So uh, here he comes uh, into the position as Riquetto. He's going to run it wide and into the tire wall. Carlos Riquetta has hit the tire wall here. Uh, he will drive that car away, but uh, just driving it a little bit too hard there. A little bit too determined to uh, try this one. Anyway, here is Gaspar D'Souza. You see, he's yet to pit yet, but he's come around Rossini. So, uh, he's got around Rossini. He's got to deal with a lap car. Michael Humphreys here. So, uh, it looks like Gaspar D'Souza has taken the lead. Now, it looks like the Zero car is going to run it into the tire wall there. But, um, D'Souza. Now trying to pull away here, as uh, here is uh, Alessandro Rossini. Lee Rossini is in uh, P4 at the moment. I'm not sure whereabouts Rossini is, but uh, Rossini was looking to be in the catbird seat. But with all the pit strategy, I'm not so sure right now. As you see, Rossini, oh, he's in the wet grass and into the tire wall. So Alessandro Rossini now into the tire wall, and um, that's not good for him. Anyway. Here is uh, Zelda Ashby as Ashby leads over the Sova, so uh, let's have, we'll have to see what Zelda Ashby is doing. Uh, I think that she's taken the strategy from her Black Diamond teammate, Gaspar D'Souza. Uh, he may notice the, the clouds are looking particularly evil. Uh, rain could be incoming, so uh, this could lead to an interesting finish to this race. As you see here is Yulia Nasova, who's currently in P2, so uh, the Lynx women's racing team having a good run there. Uh, anyway, here is Zelda Ashby, as you see, I think Ashby is, yep, due to pit, so Ashby into the pits, and uh, here is uh, Melody Clavino trying to get around Rossini, who of course has just planted it into the tire wall there. Oh, we've got a bit of a cluster there, I think one of the, the red, a red car has broken down there, that might be Kuznetsov, I'm not sure, but um, 
Here comes the uh, two car around the three, as you see. Really got a big cluster of cars here. Uh, looks like they're trying to get around Axel Anderson. And it looks like Cleveno is going to find a gap below, so... Uh, uh, Cleveno uh, now passes Rossini. This could be for the win in the end, but we don't know yet because uh, lots of different strategies going on. So uh, if it's everyone's on the same normal strategy, this will put Cleveno in the cat bird seat. If you see a onboard camera on the back of uh, on the back of Axel Anderson's car, uh, Anderson having a great run and uh, just going a lap down. I believe he's still well in the points, but uh, Anderson having a great run, Get great. Uh, Year so far, he's uh, of course fairly high up at the points, and uh, he lets Rossini go. So Rossini now to the inside. Here is Zelda Ashby, who I believe is still leading. Uh, looks like she's got, she's got Gaspar de Souza, her teammate, uh, coming after her though. So we'll have to see what happens here. Uh, of course, these teammates, I'm not sure they'll be too eager to race each other hard, but um, it looks like Zelda Ashby will uh, be able to hold him off for now. You've got Cameron Taylor looking on as well, so uh, here we go. We're going to have to see what the Sousa does here. The Sousa clearly quicker, as you can see, and oh, uh, here comes the Sousa on the inside. So, Gaspar de Sousa on the inside here in turns two and three, and here he goes, and Gaspar de Sousa has taken the lead, I believe. So, uh, Sousa now in the lead of the race, but I believe he still has yet to make a pit stop. Anyway, here is uh, Yulia the Silver. There's smoke coming out the back of that car. Yulia the Silver was having a great run today, but the Silver out of it now. Oh dear, no. Did not want to see that. As here is uh, Carlos Riquetta also out of it as well. Oh dear. Anyway, here is uh, Scott Bates as he's trying to get around the lap car of uh, Ben Atkins. It looks like he's just got around Hannah Percy there. So uh, Atkins looks like he's going to give ample room there. And now oh, Tom Moore's planting himself in the tire wall again. So. Uh, that's unfortunate for Tom Moore, as you see uh, Bates now looking to pull away from Atkins, as uh, I think Atkins, I don't think that strategy of saving tyres worked out too well for him. Here's Gaspar de Souza as, as uh, we're coming down to the dying stages of the race now, and I think de Souza may make it all the way. Don't know yet, but we'll have to see. As we, you see Alexander Simpleton, who's had a great run, and I think he's just outside the point at the moment. No! Finding himself in the tie wall again, and uh, that's unfortunate for Simpleton there, as uh, he'll, he's firmly in, put himself in the tie wall there. Anyway, here is Gaspar de Souza, as you see, he has made the tyres and the fuel last all the way to the end. He makes one less stop than everyone, and from last on the grid, Gaspar de Souza wins his first ever TM Master Cup Series race here at Brands Hatch. Melanie Clavino finishes a solid second place. Zelda Ashby couldn't quite make it a 1-2 for Black Diamond Racing, but uh, still a podium, double podium for uh, Black Diamond. That's got to be a day they've got to be proud of. Uh, Alessandro Rossini has to settle for fourth. You meet Tenshi fifth. Devereaux sixth. Uh, I'm sure he would have liked a bit more. Chris Johan seventh for uh, Robert Dorian eighth. Kevin Dwyer uh, ends up ninth after his problem. Uh, Scott Bates tenth. Matthias Taub eleventh. Cameron Taylor twelfth. Uh, you got Greg Woodard 13th, Plissian 14th, Anderson 15th, Kingston, Davenport, Quiggles, Michael Humphreys, and Davina Henton rounds out the points for this race. A little bit surprising seeing as uh, she won this race last year. Anyway, let's have a look at the point standings now. As you see, here is Alessandro Rossini on top of the points. Zelda Ashby is in second. It looks like it could be another championship contending year for Zelda Ashby. She's uh, been fantastic uh, this year. Adrian Devereaux up to third. Um, Melanie Clavino is in fourth. Axel Anderson, fifth place still. He's broken the 100 point barrier. He's done absolutely fantastic this year in that Mitchell and Sons car. Uh, you got Roderick, Kekkonen, Woodard. The Sous are up to ninth with his win. Um, Pliskin. Then you've got Kingston, Raketa, Tenshi, Salvarol, Taub, uh, Henton, Taylor, Kuznetsov, uh, Rainsford still in the top 20, and then Johans with his first points finish of the year gets into the top 20. As you see here are the uh, Independence Trophy points. There's Ike Durbin still leads, he's got three points. Uh, Michael Humphreys up to fifth. Hannah Percy's got ninth. Locked up Keegan Mallory at the bottom of the list so far of those who have driven. Anyway, here uh, the next race will be at the Circuit Thierry Sicotto at, uh, in France, uh, which should be an exciting race.